Another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabbar Harris. I'm the host and the proprietor. And on this episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show, simply, come on, man, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. But we got big things popping though. You know, what I mean, we, we we got big breaking news. You know, that ain't that ain't uh yeah, that ain't such good. We're gonna start the show off with some crazy good news. But um, uh, um, I got some good news going on going with me. Um, I don't know if people caught, caught the little post I had put out a announcement out there that uh, Fresh Bar Sports Show definitely will be taking his talents to the uh, live cable um, t- television. Check me out. Uh, you know, thankful for this opportunity, but I'll be you know with the WRCT um, network um, on channel Govac G O V A C Thursday nights weekly. You catch me weekly Thursdays nights 6 p.m. 7 p.m. on Go Back Channel. G O V A C. Go Back Channel. Look it up in your guide. Every Thursday night, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Fresh Sports Sports Show Live on your live cable television network. Uh, thank you for the WRCT family for um, you know giving me this opportunity. And, um, let's bring these, bring these up and um, do what we do. We're we going to continue to um, let the earnings cook, let it marinate, let it bubble up. and Continue growing and, and prospering, and uh, continue down the big things popping, and continue to prospering and continue to growing. Ain't no stopping. Like I said, we fresh sports sports show. We outside. We doing some things, but again, um, and then we'll be starting off this this Thursday. You know, I'm, you, you know, I'm bringing it Thursday. Starting off with a bang, the first one on the live cable television network, Go Back Channel, G O V A C Channel, 6 p.m. 7 p.m. every Thursday night. Catch Fresh Sports Sports Show live. <clears throat> All right, let's get into this news. Okay, let's go. Come on, man. Celtics head coach Ime Udoka. He has some type of relationship with Neil Long. All right, let's let let let, let 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 let's just put it out there. Obviously, they have a child since 2011. They've been engaged since 2015. Been engaged seven years. And still um, have to get married. We, I, I, um, you know that, that that's their business. But obviously, when things and um, things come to to to, to, to the news blatter, to the news bloggers, and everything hits the airways like that, and your own organization that you work for put this information out there, you would have no reason to put this information out there. All right, Celtics head coach Ime Udoka is suspended for one whole season. This 2022-2023 season, effective immediately. Interim head coach is John uh, Musdal, who doesn't have a, a squeaky clean record himself. Now, fair and all, he did have his track record in college, so you know uh, that's that. But uh, nevertheless, but uh, he's the interim coach. Um, Ime Adoka. Jobs uh, effective immediately suspended for one season. Job security, as far as keeping the job when he come back, is unknown. Violated terms. Uh, I mean, violated team rules. You know, part of the uh, uh, every organization got their own rules. You know that they follow, and that he had inappropriate relations with uh, a female in the workplace. No, you're not allowed to be. Having um, any type of female relations, consensual or non-consensual, nevertheless, every organization is is, is different. Is rule, you know, is you know, depends on. It's subject to to the organization, because uh, this goes on in all the professions, every, every sports. People is dibbling, dabbling, you know, messing around. Owners, executives, trainers, cheerleaders, players, coaches. Everybody that works in their organization of franchises across all your major sports that you love. Yes, they do. That's that's what that's what goes on. Um, why is this all just coming to the public and, and, and the female name 
ain't out there. But for, you know, from the reports, you know, because so many different reports out there, uh, you know, apparently she's uh, w married to somebody that's in the substance organization. So it's a whole, a whole lot of a lot of mess going out there. And um, Brad Stevens uh, was out there um, for the press conference, and uh, man, like I said, that press conference wasn't wasn't looking too good. But I'm glad you know the. The, the hires up, they, they you know, they, they they get out in front of it before the players will have to come in and talk to the media uh, next m Monday or Tuesday, I believe. And, you know, they just let it be known that, you know, how they can only say so so much. You know, they put the information that they can say out there because it's an ongoing go on legal situation. Um, well, as far as investigation, no legal criminal things like that, but just uh, uh, investigation is, is a legal, not necessarily, it's an investigation situation legally because it's organizational rules that was breached because it's in a contract and stuff like that. It's the rules. So, obviously, he has no, uh, Emil, Emil Ducco has no, no leg to stand to take them to court for anything because, um, clearly, he, you know, he violated, um, what's in his contract for, you know, organizational rules. <sighs> Man, this, 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 this is, this is a lot. So, um, Nia Long. I don't know what's going on with them now or what type of agreement they had or, or, or what's going on with their relationship. Clearly, everybody saw them. She was in the finals at the games. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Well, I, and, and they, Celtics, um, got wind of this information in July, obviously after the finals. So, clearly, this stuff been going on, but they got wind of this information because, uh, Reports saying it was consensual. Now other reports saying he was making unwanted comments. I mean, I don't know what, what, what is that. If it was consensual, then, then he obviously he's saying unwanted comments, comments that uh, saying remarks, obviously, that uh, she don't want to be hearing or saying things that she don't want to be hearing, things of that nature. So, it, it, man, it's, it's definitely a whole lot. Lot, lot going on is he should not put be made a should not put himself in the situation. We don't I, like I said, uh, we don't know what's going on. Celtics did it. Had an independent um, person um, come in and do the investigation. So, get, get you know that's 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 fair uh, on on the Celtics and, and, and give and credit to, to them. But um, they put this information out there. While well, Emil Gudugu put this information out there, and obviously he put a statement. Uh, you, you you know uh, following after all the information came out there. Apologize to his family, the organization, the players, and all those uh, uh, things uh, of that nature uh, for the situation and stuff like that. And like I said, he had no reason to put this information out there. Come on, guys. He had no reason to put this information out there. The Celtics put this information out there and for what? All right. You give him this punishment. You could have just given him punishment without putting all the details out there. I mean, what are the details that you put out there? You know, violate the team rules. Let y'all go out there and... and, and and, and continue to fish as it, you know what y'all doing now, but you, you you put the business out out, out there clearly. That was all, all 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 toss. It's all cross media, all platforms. These are the global phenomenons that we're talking about. The stuff that transition uh, transition uh, transcends transcends just one one uh, genre, whether it's just entertainment, sports, politics, or whatever the case may be. It just it just goes from one platform to another because it is affecting our society so much. This story is Nia Long's story. Let's be frank. Come on, man. If a Nia Long name was not who she was, the our Beyonce, our Nicki Minaj's, or or you know the, the, these ghosts, these these great queens that we we look up to, and, 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 you know with royalty for our culture, the Black community culture and things of that nature. Like I, man. It, it, it's it's, it's 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 sad. Like, come on, man, Nia Long, are you really doing that to her? We don't know what's going on. Maybe they they they. they but I'm saying, like, okay, maybe they broke up. But dang, she was at the finals the, the whole time. Like, put enough face for that. Is she busy? She got her business things to be doing. She don't need to be doing that in Boston. At that, come on now, she she be living in Hollywood. Why would she want to be in Boston? Showing face for what? I could just be in Hollywood. I don't know what, what transpired. Maybe he did step down on her man. I don't, yeah, uh, because clearly the time frame, something, something crossed over, something, 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 something's going on here that that crossed over, and, and at the end of the day, he should never put himself in this in, in this situation. Not with me alone. Like, come on, man, we understand. Like, the 
the whole severity of the situation because apparently whoever this female is, that's what I'm saying, the different reports. This person is a, um, a low position power in the organization compared to him being the coach. He's in the position of power. But then the reports is that she's married to a person that's in a, a, a executive position or a higher ranking position higher up than, than, than him. So, um, like some people said, this more is going to be coming out. And uh, like some people know stuff and, and is wait, waiting for, you know, reporters to do their, their, their diligence and, um, put, you know, get the information out there. But um, uh, people that with them know, they know there is more to be to, um to be told because they would just uh, fire him, but everything's legal. Everything's just um, legalities. They could do it like this because now they get to cut his salary in half for the year rather than just flat out firing him. And then they have to pay, obviously, major m m more, you know, m m more on the price, uh, more on the ticket. So, you know, you know, I, I don't blame them, which is a smart move. Okay, all right, if I'm ultimately going to fire him, let me suspend him for a year, boom, cut, cut, cut his half his salary, and then obviously maybe some little, you know, legal um, room and, and stipulations in their contract and stuff like that. Obviously, he violated he, 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 his salary could t you can be even reduced even more so with the termination of the contract because uh, I mean he got he's old five years left on the contract. So, man, ooh. Man, this right here is it's a touchy situation. Like I said, Nia, Nia Long, you really doing this to Nia Long? I saw a lot could just think about like, wow, man. But like, that's what this story so so big, like, cause it's Nia Long. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a regular Joe Blow name, not not famous like Nia Long, come on, man, it would just be another story. And, and like people said, like this this it, this this happens all the time. This goes on, and you and you don't normally hear about it. To this extent, or or the way that it's coming about, you know, from within the organization and putting them on blast and leaving them dangling out there to you know, to be a sacrificial lamb. I mean, even though he put himself into this situation, but um, you know, they give him suspension and and not you know, um, give him job security, letting us know you know jobs up in the air. You know, his his job determination would be at a later date and time. Yeah, man, that. Can't wait to get a guest on to talk about this and dress this some more because that right there, it's a whole lot to impact right there. Like that's that's a whole show in itself. That's a whole entire show in itself. It's sad though. This is it's, it's sad. Um, wishing the best of luck, um, Nia Long, everybody involved. Um, man, this is not going to end good for him. This is not going to end good for him. And, I know he's gonna get fired. Everybody keeps saying there's more, 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 you know, more out there. The Celtics saying as much. They can only say so much because there's there's, there's, there's there's more out there that they're not, you know, putting out there right now. But it's going the information's gonna come out. The information's gonna come out. That's why it's bad. That's why they gotta wait for that information to come out when the backlash come come out for that. Then they know they're gonna just have to fire him. Wow, man, this is this is that's it's a whole lot with that. All right, can we, can, can we move on? Try to at least. All right, from one sticky situation to another, you know how I get. Get real sticky over here. A Utah student allegedly threatened to detonate a nuclear re uh, reactor on the campus if the Utah football team lost to the San Diego State uh, team fo uh, football. 21-year-old uh, female was, was, was arrested. And um, the student... She posted on social media, of course. She said it was a joke, you know, pranking and stuff, and ha ha laugh. Uh, the joke's on her, anyways. With the Utah, I mean, she's arrested, and Utah defeated. They did uh, defeated the San Diego State team, thirty-five-seven. It's crazy, man. It's weirdos. All right, um, from one sticky situation to another, we already know owner of the Suns and the Mercury basketball team. Robert Sauver, you know, he's suspended a year, you know, for the his 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 misconduct in the workplace. His you know, him being an owner and things of that nature. But uh we saw this coming from a long way from a mile shot. He began in the process to uh put both of the teams up for sale. 
So that's he's going to make a billion dollars off that two teams up for sale. He's going to make a pretty, a pretty penny on the way up. It is what it is. But he can't be the owner of those franchises no more. Minorities and females and things of that nature. Nah, can't be ruling over that. Can't be. So, uh, glad that that process is begin. You know that's a smart rule. All right, I, I, I want to um, get away from the little sticky stuff right here for a second. I, wanna, I just want a quick little congratulation. Yeah, this show got a whole bunch of Philadelphia sports up in it. The Eagles, the Flyers, they had Gritty up up in the first episode. Shout out to Abbott Ele- Elementary. Uh, that's back out there, Quentin Brunson. Yeah, I, lo- I love her character on the show. I love the show. Uh, big fan of the show, Emmy Award winner. They got two Emmy Award winners over there. But, like, congratulations to the um, Abbott Elementary School. It's back out. Check that out. All right, can we, um, a little, a little, something, something funny that's not funny, obviously, being arrested is never, never funny, but, I mean, people would be do this stuff to themselves when they're doing stuff like this. Um, outside looking in, it's, it's funny, we have nothing to do with this. A tennis match was interrupted during the, uh, Live Art Cup. A protester was out there and set his arm on fire. That's what goes on, in, you know, sometimes in the, uh, and tennis matches, people were protesting and doing all cra- um, crazy things like out there. Guy set his arm on fire to prove his point. Uh, of course, you know, security took care of that situation, got him up out of there. All right, um, give a shout out to um, going to baseball. Give a shout out to Cardinals. Albert Pujols hit home run number six hundred ninety nine and seven hundred um, against the Dodgers. Congratulations, Albert Pujols, for joining the 700 uh, home run club. All right, can we go to the NCAA real quick? NCAA place LLSU on a one-year probation, obviously for recruiting violations for over the past three years. Typical story. College football going on, some good games going on right now. Ohio State blowing out. Um, they blowing out the Wisconsin right now, 28-7, doing their thing. Shakar Stevenson. Stripped of the WBC. I'm in the boxing right now. Shakar Stevens, Stevens. Stripped of the WBC and the WBO junior lightweight titles. After failure to make weight at the 130, he missed it by like a weight in, uh, a pound and a half. He said he's going to fight at 135 for his next fight. Um, he actually knocked down the um, the Robeson, uh con- Conceal. In the fourth round, but um, ultimately won by human innocent decision, and the titles is therefore still vacated. So, one thirty uh, division, they want to have to figure out what they're going to do with, with the titles being vacated because uh, Shakar Stevenson is moving up to one thirty five because um, he went on to explaining how, and it got gross, and I don't want to go into this. He he was explaining about how his urine was discolored and it's not it's bad for his health. So y'all guys be. 15, 20 pounds bigger than, you know, y'all walk around normal weight than what y'all fighting. Y'all drop 15, 20 pounds to fight at lower weights just because, because y'all can be dominant. Obviously, heavy weights, it is what it is. They walk around the weight that it is. It is what it is. But everybody that's, um, you know, uh, light heavy weights on down, they, you know, shed 15, 20 pounds just so they can be, you know, you know bigger and, and stronger, at, you know, at a, at a lower weight class. That's definitely not good for your body. You know what I mean? Go ahead. You know, shed a little five to ten pounds. If, if if that, don't be doing too much, man. You know, we fighting those those you know upper weight classes that that your body should should be fighting in. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. But um, you know, we see what they do in the uh, 135 division. Promoter Eddie, uh, Eddie Hearn files a hundred million dollar defamation lawsuit against uh, Jake Paul after accusing. Uh, after, uh, accusations that the match room boxing paid off judges, you know. So he's just alleging that when well, rounds is a little close, or you know, he just shaving points and trying to figure out how to finesse some points to, you know, if it comes out to to, to, to points because some of his fights. Uh, I mean, obviously he didn't knock everybody out that that, that Eddie fought. Some of his fights came to points, and they just figured that uh, they paid off judges to, to, to fix some of these fights. Hey, I, it is what it is. I mean, I'm, probably did, but um, he ain't the only boxer that be doing stuff like that. I mean, comes with the territory. He's playing the game. All right, let's get to football, man. Let's get to football. 
Bruce Aarons, <laughs> he got, you know, told, uh, he's, his position is supposed to be uh, not seen or not heard in the Buccaneers organization. He has a uh, advisory role. Okay, he allowed him on the sideline just because, you know, that you know that's the pool that you got. But you're not supposed to be up front where the players and the coaches, that's people that's involved with the games at. All right, shout out to Notre Dame 45-32, okay, over to uh, North Carolina. Uh, I thought you'd be rolling with the North Carolina, you know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to State to State, City to City, too. And then, but, uh, yeah, good college games going on right now. But, yeah, Bruce Aarons is supposed to be – he supposed to be on the on, on the back row on the sideline, but he wanna be, you know, sticking his nose in the game doing his Bruce Aaron stuff and talking talking talk with players and get, you know, rallying everybody up. And it felt all man, you gotta be, be be back. You know, you can't be on the front line or on the sideline, you know you gotta be in the back rows and stuff like that. And Tom Brady this week let it be known on, on his podcast that basically I started all this. You know what I mean? If I just went back, you know, the way I was supposed to be going instead of turn back and Letting little old baby old um, Marshawn Lattimore, letting him know, yeah, you a little man out here, you stay in your place, and you, and you stay over there, and you ringless over here. Um, none of this would all got started up, because, you know, the time ready to go, and he's going to have all the, all the goons, everybody rallying, and all the troops rallying and have his back. You know what I'm saying? And so, therefore, Mike Evans, is, uh, he suspended this, the, the, the suspension is upheld this week against the Packers. But shout out to everybody uh, tuning in and supporting the uh, First Sports Sports Show. Appreciate that. While we got a time... And a little brief, real quick. I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors. You need any fresh gear, fresh clothing? Go to Catch Baby Clothing Brand. You need any fresh gear, fresh clothing? Go to Catch Baby Clothing Brand. You need an event planner? Go to Wild Production and Events. You need an event planner? Go to Wild Production and Events. Shout out, you know, to Wild Production and Events. Got me set up with this uh, tea bridal shower event tomorrow. Going to be doing uh, Fresh Bar Sports Show. Going to be walking the runway tomorrow. Going to be doing that thing. Mylon out there, Fresh Bar Sports Show, Mylon, you know me, suiting booty cleans, pushing the outfits, you know, doing what I do, so, yeah, you know, Fresh Bar Sports Show, we outside, we throwing some things, networking, branching out there, yeah, Fresh Bar Sports Show, you know, catch me on the TV screen or on the runway, you know, however y'all want to do this, you know what I'm saying, okay, stay the safe, city, city, keep me updated on these college stores, got Clips in 51, Wake Forest uh, 45, you know, yeah, it's, it's right now is uh, college college football Saturday, but you know I gotta get my preview for these uh, Sunday games we about to about to occur. So uh, we, we, before we get to the you know to preview, I gotta you know I gotta address my, my my game that took place on Thursday. Stay stay tuned. But Bears, Chicago Bears quarterback Justin Fields, apologize for his court, uh, comments off the field. I mean off the, after the loss, basically saying about. Um, Fans don't work hard, you know. They don't, they don't put their work in on this and stuff like that. And everybody took the, that and uh, that fans don't work, you know, in their own right at, at home and stuff that stuff of that uh, uh, nature. But you know, he clarified it with a, with a little attitude and a little, little, you know, and just with some a little stink up on on his face and just, you know, he apologized, but he put in some stink on him, some some attitude and let it be known like he ain't he ain't feeling that he had to apologize, but PR and. Um, Pretty much PR and uh, organization forcing, you know, clearly he was forced to apologize. Because you you watch that. I don't want to. Please don't read those words. Look at the eyes. Look at the body language. Look at his face. Clearly he wasn't feeling that apology. He didn't let it be, let, let it be known. You know what I mean? Uh, in so many ways with his body language. And, and, and if you read between the lines of the words, what he was saying, let it be known that, you know, people take the clips and run with it on social media. And you can't control social media and all this Everybody can't control social media, but we all love to play with it. But I'm telling you, like social media is a powerful platform. You can use it for for the, for the for, you know for for the, for the greater good, you know, or obviously or evil. But you know how social media works. You you know you're a young cat. Like come on, stop that. And you should have never said that. Regardless of what social media going around, you knew what you was doing. You know you was high headed. You, you knew what you were saying when you was doing it. Like come on, man. You know you should, and especially in Chicago, city like that. You talking about working hard. Come on, man. Don't do that to Chicago. You know where you at. Don't do that. All right, give me a little, Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, Ohio, dang, Ohio just scored again. Ohio State 31, Wisconsin 7. All right, we're going to get to Joe, Joe Hayden. <laughs> Signed on a one-day contract with the Browns. He's retiring. He went three Pro Bowls in his career. He had a, you know, decent, you know, decent career. He played with the Steelers on my team. He had a couple years with us. 
Man, I'm just like, come on, me got a tattoo on, on you with the, the, the Browns and the Stellars this past offseason, and then you don't play at all? Like, come on, man. Like, what are we doing here? You were getting a tattoo of the, uh, uh, like, you know, you're still playing. I don't know what, what happened with the situation. I thought things was going to work out that you know that you're going to be coming off, you know, off the bench, you know, being a nickel for, for, for the Stellars. I thought you might have been okay with that. Because, you know, you, you, you wasn't locking nobody up and stopping nobody up, man, man covers. Come on, man. I got the eyes. I'm out there watching you bowling out there, and, I, and I, I'm not saying saying you all right. You you looked at the, the tape in the film. And you decided all right. Let me give it up. But like, man, you got that tattoo. Like, I, I thought you was gonna you know be motivated to go out there and ball out. But you know, you got a decent career. You know, this is what it is. Stillers safety. Demonte Zazi suspended three games for. Substance abuse violation. We still doing that? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. We still doing that NFL? All right. I just had to get it out there. You know, my my team still has lost to the freaking Brownies. All right. This is unbelievable. Still has lost to the Browns. 17-29 Thursday night football. Mitchell Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky. Two hundred and seven yards, zero touchdown. Oh yeah, good luck with the um, good luck with the uh, college updates. USC forty five, Fresco State seventeen, Texas nineteen, Alabama got to step it up. You only got twenty. All right, Mitchell Trubisky, two hundred seven yards, zero touchdowns. All the stepping it up and everything like that. You was not completing these passes, my guy. I was my watching. You was not. You was not doing it. like we gave you opportunities and you was throwing it down there, but you was not. You was not completing these things at a high clip. We give you opportunities. What, what are we supposed to do here? We give you the opportunities and, you, and you're not capitalizing off of them. You're not making great things happen off of them. Like, what are we supposed to do here? Boy, I tell you, man. Like, you, 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 you got to step up. Like next week, cause you got two more games for me, and I'm really going to get up in that. I'm telling you, you, you got two weeks for me, cause I'm really going to be. Now I gotta use my platform and, and really be, be calling for. We need to change that quarterback, and I don't even know Kenny Pickett is the answer either. You need to make a trade, a, a sign, do something. That's where I'm at with Steelers. So we trying to salvage the season, cause I ain't gonna be so highly on my team if, if I don't see us making any quarterback moves. If we're not gonna be successful after you know these next two weeks, if I don't see um, some improvement consistently for these next two weeks, I'm Mr. Trubisky because I know Kenny Pickett ain't gonna be carrying us to no playoffs. And everybody talk about putting put the young guy in out there and everything like that. Like, stop that. It's the same offensive line. I, I ain't blocking for, for Mitchell. Ain't going to be blocking for Kenny. And then, okay, you are obviously um, Mitchell getting some opportunities, making some things happen. Um, you know, getting some attempts, but not making no things happen. And y'all feel like Kenny Pickett can make some things happen with the opportunities given. Oh, oh, oh okay, but, um, man, what I saw in the preseason. So, so, what I'm supposed to do with that. And that college career, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Throw him in there, give him a chance to see what he do. You know what I mean? I I, I figure way too we almost figuratively around that mathematically, uh, mathematically almost um, eliminated from the playoffs. If we around there, you know, hover around that, then throw him in there. But if we can salvage the season, man, I wish we could just make a quarterback move. That's where I'm at with it so bad. Like, I'm just not so... I'm just not so, but I'm just, I'm reserving my job. I told y'all, give me five weeks. Give me two more weeks. I'm going to just hold back. But, like, I, I, I want a quarterback move. I, I just want a short, shortcut. Just give me, just, just sign somebody that's a great quarterback. <laughs> oh, man, so that's what y'all doing to me. But, all right, uh, Najee Harris, 15 carries, 56 yards, one touchdown. Jacoby uh, Brissett was out there. I'll take Jacoby Brissett out there over over where we got Mitchell Trubisky and, and Kenny Pickett, the way he's performing out there. Good, clean game. Do enough to win you the game and making things happen with the opportunities that you get, get given. Yes, he was getting two touchdowns out there, 220 yards out there. No uh, interceptions. Clean game. Nick, you know, they got a you know, nice, nice offensive line. Nick Chubb out there giving me 23 You know, gave the Browns 23 carries, 113 yards, one touchdown. Her, you know, you, you got Kareem Hunt come out there, give you 12 carries, 47 yards. Almost do better than my, my, my first string running, you know, second string running back. Almost did better than my first string running back. What are we doing over here? Oh, wait for his college party, the state to state. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, man. So like, it's it's, it's it's bad over there. Still, the nation right now It's bad over there. And I gotta I gotta say, okay, Amari Cooper, all right, you you know you did the thing, seven receptions, one hundred and one yards, uh, touchdown. But Stillers, cornerback, a Witherspoon, number twenty five. You trash. Set the game up. Like, come on, man. Getting burnt, getting beat, getting mossed. All three games this season. It's horrible. We gotta make a move, make a change. I already told you the cornerbacks is the weak link in there. And no, I'm not saying Joe Hayden was going to be better than none of that. I was saying nobody on the roster. Yeah, I like Sutton out there, number 20. He's doing his thing. Okay, he stepped the game up. He's, I see a lot of improvements in his game. I need another cornerback, though. True number one, though. Sutton, he, he, he a great number two. He ain't stepping like that to be a number one dog out there, though. I need a number one out there. Still is like how we gave a number one for uh, uh, Mika. Mika Fitzpatrick. Y'all, we are. Know that was worth it. We got to give up a number one for a cornerback. We got to. Or go draft one with the number one pick. We got to get a cornerback number one draft pick worthy. All right. Let's preview these Sunday's games. Oh, and, you know, Monday night game. One o'clock window. Raiders, Titans. I'm going to go with the Titans over that. I ain't sold on Derek Carr. I need to step it up. Adams. I need to step it up. Y'all got to show me. Y'all need to show me. All right, Eagles, Vikings. I mean, uh, Eagles, Washington. Eagles, Washington, divisional matchup. You know how those things go. It's a toss up, divisional matchup. But uh, Eagles is dominant team. Washington is looking real horrible. I'm just, Washington is looking real horrible. They look like one of the worst teams in the league. I understand that. But divisional matchup, so uh, it, it ain't going to be a blowout. It's going to be close. It's, gonna, it's, it's definitely going to be close. Divisional matchup, that's all. We got Saints take, taking on the Panthers. Divisional matchups. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be close. But uh, I ain't sold on no uh, 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 Baker Mayfield. He, I ain't sold. He's a dunce, son. A, wa a, a, a wobble, a hobble, a one-legged. Uh, he always heard got something going on with him, Jameis Winston. And, uh, you know, my, you know Michael Thompson ain't so, ain't, ain't so bad himself, number 13 over there. I think I'll take them over the Panthers. You got Lions at the Vikings. All right, Lions, you know what I mean. You yeah, had a nice little win. Yeah, nice little win last weekend. All right, we, we, we give you that. But uh, I know Kirk Cousins let me down last week, but I man, he ain't gonna let me down get two weeks in a row against them. I know, cause I know the divisional matchup, but I'm going with the Vikings and uh, Justin Jefferson. You got locked up last week, and I know it was just your fault. I know they was out there double covering you, and, 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 but Slade was out there locking you up though for the 90, 90 yeah, ninety percent of that. Uh, you gotta have a bounce back performance out there. I'm demanding it. First sports sports show, we demand it. Justin Jefferson, you got to have a great bounce back performance this week against the Lions. The Lions. Bills at Dolphins. Nice divisional match. We got some good divisional matchups games this week. I'm going to go with the Bills. Bills are solid. Dol Dolphins is out there doing the thing to attack of a little. Out there getting out to Waddle and um, Tyreek Hill and things of that nature. But uh, Josh Allen, I told you you got to see at the table. He's number five. You know, five quarterback. You got to sit at the table. I like what I'm saying. Defense out there doing what they do. That defense is, you know, I mean, I'm a, fantastic. That defense is fantastic. Stephon Diggs, best receiver in the league. Why, why wouldn't I put, pick the Bills? You got Chiefs at the Colts. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. <laughs> Pat Mahomes, do I got to say anything else? All right, we got Bengals at the Jets. I'm going to go get with the Bengals. Bengals got to bounce back at some, at some point. Jets ain't, ain't looking too bad at some, but that, Bengals ain't going to be losing 0-3 to the Jets. Really? Rams versus Patriots. <laughs> Rams, <laughs> Patriots. Come on, man. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever it is, y'all beat us. Y'all got lucky. My team's in shambles. Whatever. Y'all ain't nothing. Rams over the Patriots. Texans versus the Bears. The Bears. <laughs> uh, yeah. Texans. I don't know what's going on. Though. You know, they fighting for one of the worst worst teams. You know, in the league. You know, one of the worst three teams in the league. Colts, Texans, uh, Washington. Uh, Colts, Texans, Washington. Those are the worst three teams in the league so far. And um, we're going to go with the Ravens. Oh, we got the one o'clock, with the four o'clock window. Oh, yeah. Four o'clock window. We got the Ravens versus the. Wait a second. Hold on. I don't know my. 
I, I, let me back that up because I, I looked at my note wrong. Sorry about that. Sorry about that correction. I had messed it up. It was the Ravens over the Patriots. Sorry about that. I'm about to go to the work. I'm about to get to the work clock window, but my notes. I had I had looked at it wrong. It's the Ravens. I got the Ravens over the Patriots. The Ravens, obviously Lamar Jackson over the Patriots. Sorry about that. It's not the Rams over the Patriots. I got the Ravens over the Patriots. Just want to clear that up. Mixed book. And then obviously I picked the Bears over the Texans. And now we get to the four o'clock window. I got the Jaguars versus the, J the Chargers. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Justin Herbert and them boys over over there doing the thing. Now it's the Rams versus the Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Yes, I'm going with the Cardinals. They on the road right now after the last week win. The year four was, uh, is is real good. They 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 on a high energy. They 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 they, they feeling real nice at, after last week. They gonna ride that in. Uh, you know it's at Cardinals. It's, it's at Arizona, so they gonna they gonna ride that and um, continue the momentum and, uh, on this weekend beating the Rams. Yeah, I, I I definitely I definitely go with that. The showdown we everybody looking for Packers versus the Bucks. Aaron Rodgers versus the GOAT. If I got to say anything else, it's the GOAT. You know who I'm going with. Tomp Mbappe. Falcons versus the Seahawks. This is definitely something nobody need to be watching. Can I say it's a tie? <laughs> uh, I, I go with the Falcons. I think Mariota will, will pull it off over uh, a hobble Geno Smith. 49ers versus the Broncos Sunday night football. I, I mean Russell Wilson got to um you know get start um getting some strings uh wins in the row if they're going to be getting to the playoffs and carry that momentum to to the Super Bowl like I believe they they are going to be doing. So I got to uh, be going with this Russell w w w Wilson bandwagon all, all season long. I already said it was Bron the Broncos and um uh the the Buccaneers going to be Super Bowl so I got to pick the Broncos, right? And I said Monday Night Football. Them damn Cowboys on Monday Night Football. They just get all the primetime games, don't they? Versus the Giants. The Giants have a guy named Daniel Jones at their quarterback. Now, all you casual fans, you guys are like, who is that? Everybody, casual fans, couldn't tell you who, right now who is the Cowboys quarterback. It's Cooper Rush. They don't even care who the quarterback is. Casual fans, everybody say, who's the Giants quarterback? We're going to Cowboys. Enough said. Just like the casual fans and everybody else worldwide, worldwide, that's delusional Cowboys fans. I'll be delusional. Ain't a fan, but the Cowboys over the Giants, like, shout out to DJ Envy and all y'all Cowboy fans. I mean, all y'all Giants fans out there in New York City and everything like that. But come on, man. Daniel Jones 2-0 right now. That is not believable. So that's uh, my picks for this uh, this weekend's games. Going to get out of here real shortly, but um, want to close up. I uh, ain't uh, closing up with this, but just want to uh, wrap wrap this situation up. And a former U.S. a former UCLA men's basketball star, Jalen Hill, died at age 22 Wednesday morning. Family confirmed. On social media that he went missing in Costa Rica. No further details has been been uh, explained. Now um, you know rest in peace to the peace uh, of you know to Hill and then uh, prayers with him and his family. Now I want to move on to a situation that's ain't so flattering. A little stick, quick a sticky situation. Brett for welfare fraud situation with the uh, with the gov the former governor of Mississippi. Reports come out there like I mean, Brett Favre knew what he was doing. Like he pressed the situation. He knew the the, the funds was um you know the legality of the funds uh was to be questioned. But he still pressed the issue anyway. Like get this done. I don't care. Y'all need to get this done, regardless of you know question of how it's going to get done. Get it done, pretty much. That's where where he was at with y'all not using my money. Like come on, Brett Favre, man, you got the money, man. Like stop that. Let's just stop this right now. Like, Brett Favre, come on, man. Like, you a great quarterback, man, but this was real low. This is true low of you. 
No more are gonna come out. No charges is gonna is being being brought to them. It is what it is, and I mean like, I mean they, the the state of Mississippi is not worried about it. Nobody's paying, putting up a gripe about it. Nothing's being done about it. Far, I mean, far as Brett, far as now, other people involved, they, they, they got things. You know, I'm speaking, I'm sticking strictly to the, the sports story of Brett Favre about it. Um, nothing's you know being done to Brett Favre about it um, currently. Maybe in the future, uh, we'll have to address a different um, you know story later. If more, uh, it's more to is it to be you know told at a later date and time. Until then, this is all we got. What we got. I'm gonna wrap this up out of here with uh, Ben Simmons finally spoke about. His situation on the JJ Reddick podcast, it was great to see him out there actually speaking and being, um, you know, forthcoming and being honest about the situation and everything that took place, um, about the handlings of everything, about the lack of help of Sixers organizations. It was, it, you know, they wish they could have been more supportive of the mental health issues and just him going through everything that he was going through, um, you know, personally in life and just how he was, you know, just feeling and, and everything like that. Uh, the coaching staff, you know, um, players, you know, uh, you know, he's some players that he still got good relationships with, you know, obviously not, 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 not all, but then, uh, he was also just, you know, talking about the Donovan Mitchell, uh, rookie of the year drama and all that stuff and the Shaq LSU brotherhood and Shaq coming at him and Charles Barkley and all, all the, the, you know, those type of remarks and things of that nature. So it was just, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Like. But like I said, it's, it's, it's good that he came out there and, and finally spoke. That's what these platforms is about. You know, the new media, the, you know, everybody got these uh, platforms, especially players got these, um, the, you know, their their uh, podcast, their show, whatever. And obviously, um, athletes is going to be more equipped to, to go on there and, and, and tell their story. But, you know, let's get the stories out there. You know, let's get, you know, we got the space, you know, at the... The people want to get pulled, but you know the masses want to get pulled behind the curtain. Like you know, talk to us, especially you, especially you ain't talked to nobody in so in so long, and and, you, and he's saying he's in a good place and in a good mentally, physically, and ready to go out there do his thing, play with KD and Kyrie, and go out there and give it a run for you know championship things of that nature. But uh, yeah, I'm glad he spoke up about about about, about, about all that and explaining all, all that and just gave how he, his honest opinion and how he felt about it because um you know so much been been said about him in the situation. And, and finally, just hear directly from him how he felt about everything and where he was at with it. It was it was definitely you know definitely a great listen, and definitely great watching, seeing him being so candid about everything. So I definitely suggest you know people that is definitely interested in the Ben Simmons uh, saga story and the drama and just get his whole his words from his mouth, his whole point of view, how he's feeling. You know, hear from him um, directly, like you never heard it before, like like you, like, you, like, you, like you never heard it before. So. I suggest you go check the JJ Reddick um, podcast out about that. And we're getting out of here, but before we do, I just want to give a, another little quick shout out to you know the WRCT family for um, welcoming me, embracing me, and um, check out Fresh Sports Sports Show live on cable television weekly Thursday nights, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on GoVac channel G O V A C. Yeah, weekly. Thursday, every Thursday, weekly, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., Fresh Bar Sports Show on Goldback Channel, G-O-V-A-C. Definitely check me out. Let's run it up. Let's um, continue. Let these things cook. Let it marinate. Let it bubble up. Take uh, this Fresh Bar Sports Show to the to greater levels, higher levels. And uh, I ain't playing around. Ain't no letting up. Oh, man, we just getting started. Just new beginnings. We just getting started. That's like, like again, like I said, um, Fresh Sports Sports Show live cable television every Thursday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Go back channel G O V A C Fresh Sports Sports Show. Thank you guys for all the support.